thank you to the organizers for uh, inviting us here. We did come as a sponsor, and I should say that's unusual for us. Um, and I should thank NIH, because since we are underspending at our own conference, they said it was perfectly okay to go and support other noble efforts in this way. Uh, I'm Peter Goodhand, I'm the CEO. Uh, with me today is Nirja Skantharaja, who in the, who's waving to you from the front. She'll be at booth 23 for any follow-up questions you have. This is GF4JH, you've heard about it many times, particularly in the last session. Um, there is a small not-for-profit called GF4JH Inc., but generally it is a community effort. It's got host institutes, it's got funders from US, UK, Canada, and a very large community of uh, people who are committed to open standards and data sharing. So about 4,000 subscribers, probably 10% of those are very active, people like Alex and others, uh, on more calls and meetings than I can possibly imagine or thank them for. We have eight work streams, which are the real engine of GFHH, and 24 driver projects. And those are the people with the data, with the research use case, and they inform us in many ways. So, six technical work streams. You heard about genomic knowledge standards, uh, many others, some dedicated to uh, particular parts of our work. Others, like cloud, have got tremendous application across all types of data sharing, not just genomics, not as specific as some of the other things we do. Two foundational ones, one on regulatory and ethics and one on data security. They cut across everything we do. The 24 driver projects on the right-hand side, of the 24, about 11 have cancer either entirely in their mandate or part of their mandate. As you all know, there's been a tremendous uh, focus in the last two and a half years on the need to share data in real time across international borders. We're looking to capitalize on that. If there is a silver lining in a global pandemic, it should be that the world is more attuned than ever for the need to share data. Increasingly though, we have to leave the data where it is for a couple of reasons. It's too big to move and the closer it gets to health data, the more privacy and jurisdictional issues come in. So increasingly, we're looking at federation as a way of sharing data and switching a paradigm from data download to data visiting. We also think very much that the, about a circle, a learning health system and the need to put data from research into healthcare and bring it back out again to accelerate the learning. And at each point along that journey, uh, a GA4J standard is typically used to create that kind of movement from human readable to machine readable that was so well demonstrated in the previous presentation. If you want to know more about federation and how this can work in a very, I'll say it's still aspirational, there is a great three and a half minute animated video which we call Anna and her robots. Uh, go to booth 23, I think uh, we'll be happy to play it for you there, but there's the bit.ly uh, approach. GFJH, we put ourselves in the center of global collaborations, but there are many, many groups uh, from different domains looking right now to say, how can we, across the entire global scope, from basic research through to clinical practice, come together and share in the acceleration of knowledge from genomic data? The good news is we're, we know each other. Wherever possible, we're working together. Um, and one of the areas of real common opportunity is in genomics policy. So typically the barriers to sharing data are not technical. Technical development can keep up pretty much with everything we can throw at it. It's often regulatory ethics, privacy that become the barrier or just practices and incentives. So these groups have come together and said, we're going to try and make sure that we're sharing in a clearinghouse way our best practices for genomic data sharing. We have within it, within GA4JH's uh, driver projects, we formed a cancer community. And I want to say, although it's come in through those organizations, several of which you've heard from, it is open. We do want anybody who is interested in cancer genomics data sharing to join our community and become part 
of uh, moving forward how best to share genomic and health-related data in the cancer space. And with that, I think that's my last slide. So thank you again, and enjoy the rest of your meeting.